Hello everybody, welcome to Bad Big Games, where we talk about all things PlayStation and video games. I'm your host, Joseph, and it's our first ever episode of being an official PlayStation YouTube channel, this being my little niche on the internet. So, how are we going to celebrate? Are we going to talk about the best of PlayStation? No, we're going to talk about PlayStation name changes, and whether or not it's worth the risk of changing your PSN name. So with all that said, with all that out of the way, future Joe, bottoms up. Daddy's water burns. Yeah, so PlayStation name changes have been a feature that we as gamers have been wanting for years now. Ever since you chose your awful, awful, awesome schlong 420 YOLO Sniper XX name on PlayStation back all the way in 2006, we have been desperately wanting a name change for a while now. 10 plus years of not being able to change your name and now finally... After rumors and speculation, Sony is actually starting to roll out their beta program to get you the ability to change your name. And some lucky people and maybe even unlucky people are officially part of the beta starting today. And it will be officially released sometime in early 2019. So everything's great. PlayStation's amazing. This is the best change ever. There is nothing, there is nothing wrong about it wrong now sony's added a few precautions before you change your name and they state this not all games and applications for playstation 4 playstation 3 playstation vita and other playstation systems support the online id change feature if you change your online id you may lose access to content including paid for content that you have acquired for your games including content like add-ons and virtual currency. You may lose your progress within games, including some in-game save data, leaderboard data, and progress towards trophies. You may lose parts of your games and applications might not function properly, both online or offline, and your previous online IDs may remain visible to you and other players in some places. So, wow. Like, I, I want to... I want to take note in this. The things that I feel like most people have qualms with, other than just everything, I feel like the major things to touch on is not all games and applications on your PlayStation devices, your PlayStation family of systems, will support this online ID feature. Some add-on content will not be, will just not work. What does that mean? What add-on packs? Be more specific. And I think the devil is truly in the details of this PlayStation ID change is that Sony is not elaborating the extent of what the effects of changing your name are. Like, again, what I what add-ons? Or is it just Vita games? Is it just PlayStation 3 games? Is it all PlayStation 3 and Vita games? Is it some PlayStation 4 games? What are the things being affected because we know that games that going from uh april 2018 going forward they're going to be unaffected games are just going to work and that's great but that's <laughs> that's really soon that is within this year that is not even covering most of this generation so what games are affected that is the situation that we're in right now is that no one knows and that is why the system sucks is because no one knows the extent to the name changes at all what repercussions can be held because you 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 wanted to change your name from awesome schlong 420 yolo sniper to something maybe more age appropriate that sucks that really, really sucks. That 16-year-old me, stupid me that made a stupid mistake, that named myself something awful, is still the I'm still going through the repercussions of that name change. It's stupid when so many other services offer you name changes. And yes, whether it's paid for or free, at least they're there and they do not harm or impact your gameplay or experiences with any of their consoles. This is ridiculous. This is not good. This is not a good solution. I am not going to just give PlayStation A just because they put effort into it. And now that's not to exclude, and I know so many people worked hard on this. I know Sony put a lot of manpower and lady power into getting PlayStation name changes just to give you the ability to. I know that this is something they've been kicking themselves 
for years, but it's not something I'm going to reward them because they tried? No, no. And again, I know this sounds ridiculous. We will know the extent of the changes once people start going, going into it and changing their names. This is a beta. And that's what so many people, people are reading a headline and then just assuming. People are assuming that it is so easy they could just flip a switch and it's not the case. Guys, we don't live in that situation. This service sucks. I get it. It is not that great. But I feel like so many people are reading a headline and then just shooting from the hip and that's not going to help anything. I think, yeah, if I'm Sony and again, I know we done messed up. If it's me, I I feel like as a gamer, most PlayStation 4 games were going to be fine. I feel like Sony making these decisions, whether it's cross-play, whether it's PSN name changes, I think this is them starting to batter down, starting to fix their infrastructure going into the PlayStation 5 and that they're going in the strongest they have ever been. Because right now, guys, games, when it comes to PlayStation, I truly believe this, we're in a golden age. There is not a PlayStation exclusive. I mean, yeah, there are some hit or misses here, but there's not many PlayStation exclusives that suck. Like, I can't name one that I was just like, I can't believe I bought this garbage, right? Like, when we have games like God of War, Spider-Man selling as well as it is, we have Uncharted, Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima to look forward to. You know, there's so many great games part of this ecosystem. Now Sony has to work on the infrastructure, and you see them doing it right now. Again, this is a beta. Please know that. And I feel like I'm stuck on the semantics when it comes to people that are upset about name changes. It's so much so that I'm seeing people on Twitter threaten to sell their PlayStations going, you know what? This sucks so much. I'm not even going to play my PlayStation anymore. Because if that is your, if, if that's your way out, if that is your reasoning, if, if that is your response to this, please do me a, do me a huge solid. Okay. Sell your Nintendo Switch. If you own a Switch, sell it. Don't even buy it. Because the way that Nintendo treats content creators is utterly disgusting. The way that we still don't have voice chat. And their solution for voice chat is punkers ridiculous. Please sell your Switch because of it. Please. 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 Just do it. Like, how many people bought a 360 over and over and over again because they red ringed? And now, all of a sudden, we're going to forget all of that. And we're just going to go, well, I can't change my name and this solution sucks. So I'm selling my, my Spider-Man edition PlayStation 4. You're out of your mind. Never in my life has, has my name impacted the, the game I play, whether that's on PlayStation or not. It's never impacted anything. I've never played God of War. I'm like, this game would be so much better if my name was not Awesome Dong, 420 YOLO, Sniper, Smoke Up, bro. Like, that's never been the case. And to be completely honest, to be completely blunt, there are some people as well, if I'm on Xbox, man, there's some names I, I question as well. And I love people that are championing Xbox because, hey, they've got name changes right, and I don't even think that's the case because they still charge you $10 to change your name. What? No, it's stupid. It's weird. Sell your Switch because, you know, they still have friend codes. But I feel like they got it right because I could just change my name on a whim. And I don't have to charge. I, I'm, my card's not charged for it. Like, it, it's silly. And I feel like the overreactions to the extremes, it's, it's getting out of control. So at the end of the day, is this a perfect solution? No. Far from it. Very imperfect. Something that I feel like right now... You should not do if you're a PlayStation gamer. You should not participate in this beta. Please don't, especially if you care about your trophies, if you do still play your Vita and your PlayStation 3, and maybe you're playing some really old PlayStation 4 games. If I'm saying really old and PlayStation 4 in the same sentence, crazy, don't do it. Don't. But I'm going to do something. I've applied to the beta because for me, I don't give a shit about trophies. I know I run the trophy room of PlayStation podcasts made by the players for the players, but I don't care. Uh, I don't play my PlayStation 3 at all. Uh, I sold my Vita because uh, it's, come on guys, it's dead. We need, to, we need to get into that reality. It's gone. It's done. So for me, I have nothing to lose and everything to gain to show you guys whether or not it's as bad as everybody's hot takes are. So with all that said, with all that out of the way, please don't participate in this, but please don't, please don't 
use these extremes, please. And so at the end of the day, that's just one man's thoughts on this whole big rigmarole. I want to know what your thoughts are on PlayStation name changes down below. What's your PlayStation name? What's the worst PlayStation name you've ever seen? Let me know in the comment section down below. The good, the bad, the ugly, the in-between. And so with that said, talk about good, bad, and the ugly. We're doing a Red Dead Redemption giveaway over at the Trophy Room. It's a PlayStation podcast made by the players for the players. I do with my best friend Kyle each and every Thursday. And you have the last chance to win. Oh, wait. Red Dead Redemption on the PlayStation 4. You can leave a comment on this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the Trophy Room on iTunes. Rate us five stars or just subscribe here at Bad Big Games. It's your final day. It's your last day. Here it is. This is your chance. So with all that said, with all that out of the way, everybody, if you're into PlayStation and video games and if you're into news, impressions, unboxings, all those things that are PlayStation, then please hit like, share, subscribe, because it helps me out, shows me that you care. It builds this big, beautiful family that I call home. And so with all that said, with all that out of the way, by God, keep your wits about you and have a nice one. Texas accent out.